Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be reviewing the Spy Family anime. This video may also contain spoilers, so here is your warning, but with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Kicking things off with a quick synopsis. In Spy Family, we follow Lloyd. He is a spy and his mission is to infiltrate this school to get to this one dude. I think he is like the dean or something like that. But anyways, to do this mission, Lloyd needs a child and a wife. So Lloyd goes out and adopts a little girl named Anya from some sketchy adoption place. And eventually Lloyd runs into a chick named Yor. And they agree to get married to make this fake family seem real. I also forgot to mention that... Anya can read people's minds, Yor is an assassin, and obviously Lloyd is a spy, and all of their secret lives are hidden from each other, but I think that about wraps up this nice little synopsis. Starting with the story and plot first, and I'm going to be honest, I really enjoyed the story. Spy Family had a really great and unique setup. There was just so much going on. You had the main mission of getting close to this dude, and you also had the side things like what Anya was doing at school, or what side mission Lloyd was going on. And these definitely add to the overall enjoyment of the anime, because who doesn't like a unique story that's constantly evolving and changing to keep things fresh? Fresh. I also really liked how they blended together genres like slice of life and action. You'll have Lloyd doing some normal family man stuff with Anya or Yor, and a little later he's doing some crazy spy mission like stealing something or getting into a tennis match. A legit tennis match. Like what? But it truly blended these genres together perfectly, and all around I have to say the plot and story of Spy Family is really good. Up next we have the characters, starting with Lloyd, the big spy man. They built up his character quite nicely. He's like the best spy or something like that. He is also really great at a lot of things, like tennis for some reason. I don't really get the tennis thing, but Lloyd is good at tennis, I guess. But he really isn't the best at romance, and he's iffy as a family man. So he does have some faults, which adds some more depth to the character. He's also really great at disguises, and it's kind of like a small thing. But it is something that I noticed and I thought was really cool how he could like change his face completely. I thought that was entertaining. I don't know why, but I did. Yor was a pretty good character, but I feel like they did her kind of dirty. Yor didn't really get that much depth added to her character, which kind of sucks. I also feel like she didn't get that much screen time like at all. And I would have liked to see the assassin thing explored more. She is an entertaining character, but there's just a lot missing there. Like it's cool to see her beat someone up or do some like really wholesome motherly things but I feel like they really didn't pad out her character enough or give her enough screen time or depth. I feel like she was kind of just like left out on that side of things. Anya was a really funny character and honestly the face of Spy Family. The mind reader stuff was incredibly entertaining and her facial expressions was absolutely hilarious. It made me audibly laugh quite a few times. And just all around I thought she was just a really funny character and that has to be like her greatest attribute as a character is she's kind of like the comedic relief or whatever with her like one-liners or just random nonsense that she would spew out it was all just incredibly funny but to wrap it all up spy family had some really good characters Lastly, we have art, animation, and sound design. The art was your average anime stuff. Nothing really special there, just very average. The animation was good, especially during the action scenes. It's incredibly smooth. You can just take a look on screen and see. Smooth, no hiccups, nothing crazy like that. It just looks good. The sound design was also good, the opening song was pretty fire, and the voice acting was good. So all around, I would say the art, animation, and sound design is good. Nothing really crazy there, but there's nothing terrible wrong with it. It's just average or good, and I have zero complaints. All around, I found Spy Family to be really enjoyable, and it kept my attention and kept me entertained, like, throughout watching all of it, and I think it's, like, what, 20-something episodes long, which I usually stick to the 12-episode shows, but Spy Family was, like, really big, and it still is really big, and there's a lot of hype surrounding it, so I just had to check out Spy Family, and I'm glad I did, because it was really entertaining, and it kept me entertained. There was a slight bit of drag 
dragging there, I won't lie, but not too much, not enough to mention or talk about really in depth, but there was just a smidge of dragging, it kind of got a little boring here and there, I wish they would have freshened things up a little bit more by like, you know, maybe revealing all of their secrets to each other about the spy, mind reader, and assassin stuff, I feel like that would have freshened things up a lot, but like near the end, it was kind of dragging just a smidge. But for my final score, I'm going to give Spy Family an 8 out of 10. I would highly suggest checking out Spy Family. It's a really good watch, and it's incredibly entertaining. Just check it out, man. I don't think it'll disappoint you in the slightest. I promise it's a pretty good watch if you're into, like, action, but also slice-of-life stuff. And I think that about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Spy Family down in the comments. Check the description for all of my links. I'll drop a synopsis for Spy Family down there as well. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.